friends, it's Kazzy Zahersky, children's book author and illustrator, and today I'm here to read a really funny, but a little bit of a spooky story called The Clatterbangs Go to Transylvania! <laughs> In honor of, well, Halloween, of course. But before we start reading, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below to the right of me for more great stories like this one. The Clatterbangs Go to Transylvania is a spooky story about the Clatterbang family, the most dreadful folks with terrible manners you'll ever meet. They head to Transylvania and complete chaos ensues. Let's read this spine chilling story to learn more. The Clatterbangs Go to Transylvania, written by Neil Gaw, illustrated by Jose Ohai. The Clatterbangs were awful, the worst people you could find. Rude, noisy, and terrible. Not one bit of them was kind. Four of them altogether. There was the father and the mother. Carrie was their daughter, and Jerry, her little brother. Grotty Jerry Clatterbang visited the pumpkin patch every Halloween. He waited until a family had chosen one, then smashed it into smithereens. <gasps> Carrie was a competitive girl. She was the best at apple bobbing, but she wouldn't let anyone else have a turn and left the other kids stood sobbing. <laughs> Nasty old Mother Clatterbang would hand out homemade sweets, but she put a horrid surprise inside. There would always be more <laughs> tricks than treats. And then there was cruel Father Clatterbang, who loved to scare his wife. He dressed up as a spooky ghost and frightened her out of her life. So those are all the Clatterbangs, a family you'd hate to meet. Their ghastly ways had scared off the neighbors, so they lived on an empty street. I'm off! One sunny day, the Clatterbangs were all clatterbanging about. Jerry and Carrie were fighting, then Father began to shout. You're all doing my head in! I'm going into a mania! Pack up your things! Get in the van! We're going to Transylvania! And so the Clatterbangs loaded into their Clatterbanged out van. By the time they had arrived, they each had a horrible plan. I'm going to find a werewolf and shave it to the bone! I'm going to find a witch's coven to steal potions off those crumbs. <laughs> I'm going to find Count Miracula and expose him to the sunshine. I'm going to find a mummy and make her bandages unwind. Mother crept up on the werewolf and her razor started buzzing. I'll shave off his fur and make a coat after I give him a deep buzzing. But the werewolf grabbed the razor oh. and shaved Mother's noggin instead. Oh. I was going to look so glamorous. Now I have a bald patch through my head. Jerry spotted the witches casting spells in the witchy hour wrapped up to steal their potions. I'll rule the world with all this power! But the witches saw the little menace. They tied him to their broom. He'll never make magic like us! They screeched and sent him flying with a zoom. <laughs> Carrie entered the mummy's tomb and tried to pull their bandages off, but the mummy stopped in her tracks it's freezing. I'll get a cough. The mummy wrapped Carrie up. She was covered from head to toe, then spun her like a spinning top and watched her go, go, go. <laughs> Father found Count Dracula sleeping in his castle, 
but the vampire woke and spotted him. Is it me you're trying to hassle? You lot are even more ghoulish than us. I demand these antics cease. Go home now and never come back. Leave us to rest in peace. And so their day had ended. They got home tired and sad. Perhaps all this wouldn't happen to us if they weren't so very bad. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this spooky story as much as I did. Don't forget to subscribe below for more great stories like this one. And I will see you next time. Bye, Circle Time friends. <laughs>